When ActuAGL first switched on the Kingston powerhouse in 1915, the energy for our great city was ignited. It powered our growth and it continues to drive the future of Canberra and our region. Well, ActuAGL has been here for 100 years. We're here before Parliament was here. We're probably the first organisation in Canberra to turn 100 years old that's a local company. Many years ago, my dad worked in the powerhouse. They were known as firemen, the main, the main uh, workers. Like there was labourers outside and, and then the firemen were inside controlling the stacks and that to produce the electricity. The powerhouse is very significant. It was the first permanent building here in Canberra. It's basically our spiritual home. You'd hear the whistle in, uh, well I used to hear it in O'Connor. I used to come from school one afternoon from Tilapia and meet my dad and his afternoon shift. So we had the privilege of going up the top floor with my dad and pulling the lever then. Life was uh, pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, it was, it was a breeze really. You had a lot of visitors, a lot of friends had come down because the river and the trees and the swing and the horses. The most vivid memories would be of my dad with us with his job and the, and the uh, coming here after school and him waiting, and he's been working all day waiting for his 80 minutes to five so that he could dink me, you'd say, on his bike going home to the causeway. It was, that was magic, absolute magic, yeah. The employees of Actu AGL are very special just to see the people that work for this place, how dedicated they are. Not, not just to ActuAGL, but how dedicated they are to the community. If you could bottle it, you'd sell it for a lot of money. My name's Nolene Coulon, and I've been with ActuAGL, or Actia, Actu, ActuAGL, for 48 years. The things I love about working here are the, you know, the making new friends and the companionship and going out together. And even when we were in an electricity house and up on the 10th floor, there was a big recreation area there. I still remember my first day. We were all the, nearly the same age. You started work at 8.30 in the morning. You had to sign a book and you'd finish work at 4.51 in the afternoon. Over the years, I've just liked all the work I've done. So I'm Jack Fenwick. Um, I'm a customer service representative in the call centre here. There's nothing better than ending a phone call with someone saying you've just made their day. It's really nice, the people that work here, everyone's open, everyone says hi, you can say hi to everyone. Yeah, the best people I've worked with so far. Working with ActuAGL opens up a lot of avenues for you. It's not you're in one role and that's what you're going to be in for the rest of the, your life. They're setting you up for a career that even if that's not with ActuAGL, they're going to help you as best they can. Being a liney means you, you've got to have uh, a lot of flexibility in what you do. When storms hit, uh, people are looking for others to come in and start work and repair the system and getting people back on supply. And I can look back at a lot of the things that I've done and feel quite proud of them. And I'm very proud of the workforce and how people go about doing their things these days. Some of those significant milestones have been around our community partnerships, what we've done there with the community during the tough times and during the good times. And, you know, certainly the bushfires of 2003 stick in my mind. Just to see our staff out there in the field and, you know, they were just had dirt all over them. They just worked around the clock. I'm sitting here in Darwinia Terrace and driving along here was just incredible because knowing what the network should have looked like and seeing, you know, the poles down. At the end of the day, our goals were to have another section of supply back on. We had uh, people come, you know, linesmen and electricians coming from all over. All the trucks that were lined up outside to get into the yard, you know, it was wonderful, wonderful. We were out near Thawa on the, on the first day that we started working and about seven o'clock that night, we realised that there was a pole that had been missed. I went and had a look at the job and it turned out to be an easier pole than some of them and the guy said well let's do that so we went back and did that poll and we finished about half past nine 20 to 10 and suddenly the lights came on and i could hear cheers from a lot of families and and that in their homes and that and uh, uh, the, the feeling was just awesome even the people that weren't directly involved they would ring up and say how can i help and it might be making sandwiches it might be making cups of coffee for people it might be just ensuring that someone's got someone to talk to. 
I just remember this one man, his wife was in hospital with stress. He didn't even have a photo left, nothing. He come in and he signed up for temporary supply to rebuild. Fancy starting out and rebuilding at 82. We had 58,000 people without electricity and without, with the exception of 100, we had them all back on within nine days. In all the CEOs that we've had, they acknowledged how important Actu AGL needed to be a part of the community through our, our community sponsorship program. If there's a cause that's good for Canberra, there's a fair chance that Actu AGL will be involved in it. Actu AGL has been not only a sponsor, they have organised Hawaiian night, they have done uh, the big convoy. There's nothing too big for them to do to help. The Cancer Support Group raises funds to financially assist families with a member undergoing treatment for cancer. Now we help with electricity, gas, phone, medication. We do four family outings a year, you know, to, so that the families can get together and know that they're not alone. When I started our group, I said no donated money for families could be used in admin. Actu AGL has been a big support to the Cancer Support Group since 1985. We, I think, are rightly identified as having a long history of support for all sorts of community activities, right down to the community level, right down to youth leagues, right down to children. And in the last several years, we've had a very special identity on supporting women and women in sport. Actu AGL have been one of the great community um, partners in, in this city and I think their the support of the Canberra Capitals team has been immense in helping us establish um, our brand, being able to recruit players to Canberra. I've worked with some of our greatest female basketball players. They've got great work ethics, some, some players that have held down full-time jobs and being elite players that have you know, held records in the WNBL. Your first championship's always special. We had a sellout at the AS Arena. You know, I think that was special and I think it was unique for the city too. Then we went back to back three times. And I think that really stamped our, our brand as a, as a great sporting team in Canberra, partnered with some of the great partners in, in Canberra. Girls do deserve to have a shot at most things and to have a shot at being a Canberra capital that represents this city that is high performing and that also works and lives in the community I think is unique and special. Football Connect allows players with disabilities who may not otherwise have the chance, the opportunity to play football and be a part of a local club and a part of the football community. So all our teams do actually represent our local clubs. They're so close knit, the parents that all come out and support are just fantastic. You come out, you watch it, you can't help but smile because you see them enjoying themselves so much. Football benefits the community as it's something that everyone and anyone in the community can do. It forms links within the community. The Actu AGL Junior League is basically our community football. So it covers from under 10s all the way through to under 18s and it's operating all across Canberra every Saturday. Without the support, it just wouldn't happen. Actu AGL's had a long history with business organisations in the city. The original building, Actu AGL House, was opened in Civic back in February 1969. We moved into 40 Bunda Street, where we are today. Actu AGL is a, is a classic example of a, an essential business for a community. Actu AGL's a big supporter of business in Canberra because they are headquartered here. I mean, it's a local company, and at the base of it all is its workforce. Some of the events Canberra CBD holds throughout the years, Christmas, in the city, we had this world record attempt for the most number of static lights and we broke the record. Skate in the city and Actu AGL has partnered with us on both of those. When we get sponsorships like Actu AGL, it stretches our dollars much further. We're a pretty big organisation, but we are completely embedded and identified with the Canberra and the surrounding communities. We have the cheapest electricity for households in the country. We have the most reliable, by far, electricity for households in the country. And we have the highest level of customer service in the country. We know the future is going to change on us very rapidly in a way it hasn't over the last hundred years. And that means not standing still. That means addressing things like renewable energy generated by households. Are there better ways for them to reduce their consumption and be more efficient and to save money? You know, renewable energy in vehicles. I want us, over the next 100 years, to be as relevant and as much a part of this community and embedded in this community and an important to this community as it's been for the last 100. I'd like to say congratulations to Actu AGL on their 100th birthday and also to thank them for all their support over the years. Men and women of, of Actu AGL are 
fantastic. There's a lot of respect in the place. Without that, we wouldn't be achieving the things we do achieve and keep going. It's, we don't stop. We're big enough to provide the quality, reliability and service, and at the same time, keep our focus where it matters. That's why the next 100 years should be as successful as the last 100.